Social distancing enforcement remains in effect in New York City, but with some changes. CBS 2's Corey James is live for us tonight at Domino Park in Brooklyn with more on that. Corey. And Jessica, the number of people who have stopped by Domino Park throughout the day has grown. You can see some of them right behind me just sitting on the lawn. For the most part, they have their face coverings on and are spread out. But for those who showed up uncovered, NYPD officers are standing by ready to give them appropriate protection gear. How are your face, please? At Domino Park in Brooklyn, NYPD officers handed out face masks to people who showed up without them. Please take a walk. Thank you very much. I do think it's great that they're handing them out and trying to... I know, assist as much as possible. Over in Manhattan at Hudson River Park, it was the same story. Officers were monitoring near Pier 45 after this video showed too many people too close together last week. There were a ton of crowds, people congregating all across the lawn. This week it seems a lot different. There are people who are responsibly spaced out. And there are police officers sort of at every little corner and enclave, um, making sure people have masks. While Mayor de Blasio says there have been fewer than 10 summonses a day across the city, he announced Sunday next week in the city will increase the number of social distancing ambassadors who are civilian city employees and will educate the public. It will go from 1,000 social distancing ambassadors to 2,300. De Blasio hopes this initiative will prevent confrontations between people and police officers. We saw a very troubling video a few days back from the Lower East Side an instance of the wrong approach to policing. But that being said, the last thing we want to see is enforcement if there's any other way to get the job done. Brooklyn Borough President Eric Adams is satisfied with the city's new response, but he believes officers had been only targeting areas where there are minorities. COVID-19 today can't be a version of stop and frisk of yesterday. The numbers speaks for themselves. Over 90% of the people who were arrested were black and brown. Adams rode around Crown Heights in the back of this trailer and spoke through a megaphone. He wanted to share a message to the community that he hopes will protect them during this crisis. Please wear face covering. And back here live, you can see some of the officers out here patrolling the area. Now, NYPD denies that there were any instances of stop and frisk across the city. And Mayor de Blasio defending the department but also saying there would be more trainings and better protocols in place as well. Meantime, uniformed officers will be out at the entrance of citywide parks, as you see right here, from 9 a.m. until 9 p.m. to enforce social distancing. We're live at Domino Park in Brooklyn. Corey James, CBS 2 News.